guys, it's Arika Misha, and today I am cooking some homemade cheeseburgers and some french fries. But I'm getting right into it today. All right, got my beef already in my bowl. I'm getting ready to add my seasons to my beef. I'm gonna use some Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning. Just showing y'all what I'm using. Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning. Sprinkling a little bit of that in there. I'm telling you, I add a lot of stuff to my beef. Not a lot, lot, but anyway. So we got some of that sprinkled in there. That's about a, that's about one tablespoon. One tablespoon of everything, guys. One tablespoon. Oh, and my next thing is this Grill Mate McCormick Smokehouse Maple. I'm going to do a tablespoon of that. That smokehouse gives your um, burgers that, you know, old grill smell. Like you grilled them, but you really didn't grill them. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to do it, y'all. It gives it like a grill flavor. All right, on my Dollar Tree garlic pepper seasoning. Gonna add a tablespoon of that. And y'all know, start a show, child. He, you know, he, child, he got show up, child. We're gonna do a tablespoon of that. Tablespoon of the parsley. And we got our all purpose seasoning salt. I got this nice big thing of seasoning salt from the Dollar Tree, y'all. The Dollar Tree. We putting a tablespoon of that in there. Uh, I've got some lemon pepper seasoning, also from the Dollar Tree. Lemon pepper. Putting a tablespoon of that in here. If I can get it open. Okay, our lemon, lemon of lead pepper. Lemon of lead pepper. And last but not least, Old Bay, cause you know what? He is our Old Bay. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know I'm silly. All right, we're doing a tablespoon of that too. Old Bay ain't just for um seafood, y'all. Hmm. Don't get mad at me, cause I put Old Bay in my food. So you can use Old Bay for whatever you want. Old Bay, yes. And I put all of that in there. Sometimes I chop up onions. Let me see, where is my onion garlic? Child, where is my onion garlic? I don't know where it's at. I ain't got, I don't need none of that because I got all these other seasons. But sometimes I'll chop up some onions and put them in here. Sometimes I'll do that. And I chop my onions up real small. I don't like them big chunks of onions, y'all. I don't like all that. Get this all mixed up. Mixed up real good, and then I'm gonna make my patties. I'm gonna make little cute patties, almost like the mini ones. Almost. Mine ain't gonna be big, but make little cute burgers, like the little mini burgers. I'm gonna make those. Y'all, let's see. Get this all mixed up real good. Oh, swinging beef. Oh boy. Let me find the beef that went swinging. Hold on, y'all. Lost a piece of beef somewhere. All right, let's put that away. Got me stirring it up so much. All right, y'all. Y'all still there. Get this mixed up real good with my spoon. Make sure everything all nice. Make sure all my seasons are getting mixed all around. And I kind of like use my spoon to like chop it up. Make sure everything getting all nicely mixed. Usually it takes me a minute to do this y'all. Because you want to make sure your seasons get all mixed up everywhere. So usually it takes me a minute to get this all mixed up. So I want to make sure all my beef is mixed up. Okay. Alright. I think we got everything all mixed up y'all. So. We ain't got all day. And just so you guys know, I'm cooking the burgers and the fries in the air fryer. The burger and the fries are going in the air fryer. This is a quick meal. This burger and fries. This ain't an all day kind of meal now. So, don't be all day fixing this. So, I use my spoon to scoop up a nice amount. 
And y'all know how we make our homemade patties, boy. I'm telling you, it ain't nothing like a homemade hamburger patty. It ain't nothing like it. Me a nice little ball. And I chop it up with my hand like that. Hi y'all, hi y'all. Chop it up just like that. Chop it up, y'all. Then I pat it all nice and cute. Make sure y'all can see me. Yep. Then I do it all nice and cute. And then look, the little trick I do. I just pat it around the sides like that, y'all. Kind of so it can look like a real patty. <laughs> like a real patty, y'all. And I kind of smush it down like that, across like that. So it's all flattened, you know. You know, not, not all chunky on one side. Come on now, y'all. Gotta make sure your burger's all nice and neat and cute, but they homemade, y'all. So they ain't supposed to be looking all perfect now. Homemade patties don't be looking all circular and cute, y'all. Come on now. I mean, you wanna make them, you wanna make them look decent. But them homemade burgers, they gotta look crazy. They, they look like a little crazy shape. But you know, I still like them cute. That's a nice little cute shape, y'all. But it's still, see y'all, see over there how it's a little wonky, crazy looking? That's a homemade burger, boo. That's a homemade burger, boo. So, I'm gonna go ahead, y'all, get my patties all made up. Let me wash my hand before I touch my camera. I'm gonna go ahead and get these all did up, y'all. Get these all shaped up. Y'all seen how I did it. Y'all know how to make y'all own hamburger patties, however y'all wanna make them now. So, let me go ahead and finish getting these all did up. Y'all saw the seasons I put in. I like putting different seasons into my uh, burger patties. Really makes them taste good and flavorful. Not too salty, but you know, by the time you mix it all up, it's, it's delicious. Cause I want a burger with some flavor. I don't want just no regular burger. I need flavor in my burger. Especially if I'm making it at home. So, all right guys, let me finish making these patties and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got all my hamburger patties all made up. As you can see, they are all nice. Get you guys over here to our hamburger patties. Le patties of the hamburger. Yes. So I've got eight patties. And I've got my Gotham pan covered with aluminum foil, y'all. Preserve your pans. And I'm going to go ahead and put my burgers on my pan let me see let me i start with my corners first okay got four more let's see how we're gonna do these let's see i think we can do it like this yep that'll work perfect perfect yep looks yummy we got all our burgers down they all seasoned up we'll need to do nothing else to them we'll need to add nothing else to them nothing else now, sometimes um, I'll get onions and like chop them up and just throw the onions on top of the burgers. I do that sometimes. The girls don't like onions. I like a little bit. I don't really like onions like that, but I do love the onion flavor. I love the flavor that the onion brings. So, all right, we got our burgers all trayed up. Um, I was gonna cook them in the air fryer, guys, but I changed my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. I've got my oven preheated over here at 400 degrees already. So I'll go ahead and throw these in the oven. These are small patties. They're not gonna take long to cook at all. Probably take about 15, about 15 minutes to cook. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven. Of course, I'll put them in, flip them over. Um, so I'll go ahead and get those burgers in the oven. And while the burgers are in the oven, we're gonna cook the fries in the air fryer. That way the burgers are cooking and the fries are cooking. Everything's cooking together to make this a nice, quick, friendly meal. All right guys, let me get these burgers in the oven and then I'll be back showing you guys me doing the fries in the air fryer. Okay, let's get our fries done in the air fryer. You guys know I have my aluminum foil down. I've got my oil in there and I've got my Publix crinkle cut French fried potatoes. I like the thick potatoes. Get a couple more in there. All right. Get our fries all down in there nice. Make sure everybody can get cooked. That is plenty of fries. All right. And y'all know I'm gonna spray the top with oil. Y'all know how I do. Spraying the top real good with oil. And then I'm also going to put my Dollar Tree French fry seasoning. Yep, I put that on the fries. Just sprinkle a little bit. 
Give them a little flavor. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too much. Let's go ahead and get them in the Emerald Lagasse. Let's go over here, try the Emerald Lagasse. Presets himself at 370 degrees for 15 minutes. Go ahead, Emerald. Go ahead, try. 370 degrees, 15 minutes, guys. That's about all it takes in my air fryer. And that'll be it. I'll be back, guys, to show y'all the fries when we're ready to bring them out. Bring them out. Okay, guys, I just took the burgers out. Just wanted to show you guys. Of course, y'all know burgers. They shrink. That's what they do. So, they're a little smaller than how I prep them. But that's fine because that's how I wanted them. And that aluminum, I'm telling you, it reflects off my light. Let me see if I can take y'all on this side. That's better, I think. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see these burgers. Yeah, you can see all the green. Soon as he get himself together, child, let me back y'all up. Okay. Anyway. Okay, y'all. Anyway. Y'all see the lead bigger? Ooh, there it is. Let's take y'all over to another one. Oh, no, child. He acting up. Anyway, okay, y'all yeah, can see better now. Okay, yep, real good. Thank you, child. Thank you, boo. Anyway, so yes, our burgers look amazing. They look delicious. I am ready to make my burger. And I forgot to show you guys the bacon. I cooked some bacon over there. See if I can get y'all. Yeah, I got some bacon cooked. Yes, we're gonna put bacon on these burgers, y'all. Ain't nobody playing around with their homemade burgers. I'm not playing around my homemade burgers. It's gonna be good. Homemade. Made it home. Y'all know. All right, we waiting on these fries, child. They got about seven more minutes over here in this air fryer. So once the fries get done, y'all, y'all will see the finishing result. Y'all will see the le finale. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, our fries are out of the air fryer. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in to le fries. Yes, le French fries. Woo, y'all ain't know I could do that, did y'all? <laughs> le French fries. And y'all know they not complete. Until the star of the show shows up. Ooh, wee. Drizzle, drizzle. Ooh, <laughs> look at them. Yes, not them fries complete. They got that fry seasoning on them. And they got the porcelain chai. You know, chai, let him, you know, do his thing, chai. So, yes, we got our fries. And let's go over here to our burgers and bacon. Yes, let me bring y'all out. Ooh, look at the little burgers and a little bacon. Ooh, these gonna be some good sandwiches. I'm ready for my burger, y'all. I gotta go. <laughs> y'all seen me do it. Y'all know I did it. Yep, mm -hmm. y'all seen it. All right, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha, guys. And don't forget, knowledge, knowledge is power, guys. All right, now. Bye.